Welcome back to the channel, inspired by r and &R. I'm Ronia, if you're new here, happy 2021, happy new year to everybody. Um, a few weeks ago, I posted a picture and I asked if you guys were interested in seeing me do another hair video and you guys said you did. So this is a Spanish gel and this is like an old G that my great grandmother used to use in her hair. And I, I want to say she had a jerry curl. I'm not sure, but it says it is a carefree curl, gold instant activator, dual conditioning for natural or curly hair. And this is a Spanish gel. It says with flaxseed extract, um, free of alcohol, non-flaking, free of harmful chemicals. Uh, flaxseed extract is a source of vitamins and omega-3. And yeah, I purchased both of these. I'll leave a description in the description box below with all the products and all the prices for them. But we're gonna see how these work. I just had it in like a couple of twists for like a week. As you can see, it's definitely dirty. Um, I have some gel flakage from like a gel that just did not agree with my hair. Uh, this is the back of my hair, which is like my difficult part. As you can see right here, this is like my, kind of like my natural curl pattern, but it's stretched out. So um, yeah, I definitely want to show you guys how my hair looks before I do this wash and go and how it looks after I do this wash and go my trusty dusty alligator clips that I love to use. So I'm gonna section my hair right now and just do it into four parts. All right, now I'm gonna leave this section out and I'm going to try this product. I actually swear by, I discovered it during quarantine. I've been using it in my husband's hair as well as my hair. So this one is actually not new to me, but it, it's new to the channel. I've never talked about it. This is the Just For Me Curl Piece. It's really great for detangling natural hair, getting some of those kinks out. Um, and it, you kind of do it like a pre-poo. It smells like almost like a coconut. Oh my gosh, I just spilt it. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, as you can see, it's like a runny consistency like that. And um, it smells a little bit like a coconut mixed with like a blueberry, but you leave it on your hair for like 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna dig in right now, moisture back into my hair. I mean, I still got, you know, a couple of kinks here and there, but this, stuff is really good and it's five dollars at sally beauty so you can't really beat that price and this jar has lasted us so long so there's that i'm gonna clean up this mess i'll be right back a pre-poo but it helps you get that detangle like i know sometimes whenever i wash my hair my hair will just kind of mat up especially in the back so if you put this on before you wash your hair and let it sit for like 15 minutes, then your hair will be a lot more manageable um, during washing. Who I went in with the Love Beauty and Planet shampoo. This is the lavender and argan oil. Um, it's not bad, actually. And then I went in with the almond and shea butter uh, conditioner by Suave. This one, my hair really liked it. As you can see, it felt like it melted into my hair. So I just put this on my hair and I did basically a deep condition with two Walmart bags on my head for 30 minutes and then I rinsed it out. Now I can't speak for everybody, but my secret to a bomb wash and go is to put your leave-in in the shower. So <laughs> this Carefree Curl Gold Instant Activator, I'ma let you know right now, it does not smell like berries and cream. It has like a, I don't know, it just smells like a elderly woman's hair. But when I put it in my hair, baby, it had a bunch of slip. And um, I just put that into my hair in four sections and then I put my clips in and then I'm gonna put my gel on outside of the shower. I just wanted to get as much moisture in the shower using this as a leave-in first. 
I have this as my leave-in all throughout my hair and now I'm gonna go in with the gel. I have my hair sectioned off into four parts and I only have this. I didn't add any oil like I normally do. I just wanna see if this and this gel, that's the Hispanic gel that I got at Walgreens, will mix and do a good wash and go. So, without further ado, let's get this gel in here. Take out my clip, and I like to work from the back. So I'm gonna take this towel off. And I've never used this gel. Mm. It actually has a pleasant smell. It's kind of like a light, apple scent to me like apple and honey but it's it's not it's it's very very faint so if you're as if you're scent sensitive this this is going to be okay because it's it's not strong at all you can barely smell it i just have a really strong nose so any smell i'll be able to smell it but it, it smells very pleasant actually um it's very thick but it looks like it'll give me what we want and see what happens. Hmm. You know what? Okay, little Spanish gel. I'm not mad at it. Like, do you see this? It's just going through my hair. Like, nobody's business. And it feels like it's clumping my hair. Let me see if I can get it closer for you guys. Yeah, okay. I am not mad at this gel at all. You can see it's starting to really clump up. So I'm probably gonna put one more coat just like right around here because the roots is what will get poofy on me. And after I do that, I'm gonna leave it alone. Oh, we got a little piece right here. We need to put a little bit of gel too. Just get that to cooperate better. Yeah, there we go. All right. I think we, uh, I think we like her. I think we like her. I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and I will come back while it's still wet and then I will let my hair dry and come back and give you my final review of this. Okay, you guys, I just finished Putting the gel in my hair, my hair feels soft and I, I don't know, it could be just me because it's something new and I know how we can get with new products just thinking like, oh, it works perfect, but I think this might be my new favorite gel. Oh. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until my hair dries. I'm not gonna touch it anymore. I'm not gonna add any sheen, no oil, nothing. I want you guys to be able to see how my hair looks with just the two products that I put in for this wash and go. So um, I have low porosity hair. It's probably gonna be about five, six, seven hours from now before I film, so my lighting will be different. Um, but yeah, this is how my hair looks while it's still wet. As you can see, I feel like it has like a little shine to it. Do you see that? Do you see this shine? Is it just me? Let me know if it's just me. I, I don't feel like my hands are sticky at all. Like they feel like I have like residue on them from, you know, something, but it almost feels like a, like they're moisturized. Like if you put like a lotion on after you've washed your hands, like look, it's not even like turning white. Look at that. It's like, you can see like my hair on my hand, but you don't see like any white residue like you would normally see with the leave-in. So this is my hair and I'll come back after it's fully dry. My hair is dry and it's been like six hours. It's in the evening. Um, this is my hair. As you can see, shrinkage is real. So I will say this gel, it, 
I feel like it has like a, a slight sheen to it. Um, it definitely clumps up your curls, as you can see right there. So now I'm gonna get me a satin scrunchie, put this, and do a pineapple on my hair. Just pull it up and this will actually stretch my hair. And I will see how it looks in the morning. Oh, and when I do a pineapple, I actually leave this front part out just because the front part of my hair is a looser curl pattern. So if I pull it into the pineapple, then this will be even more stretched and it'll look weird. So I just leave that part out. If you have a similar curl pattern, that's a little tip that you can do is just leave that out of your pineapple and it won't be so dramatically stretched if you just leave that out. And now I'm gonna put my effortless crown satin cap on and get ready for bed. And I will see y'all in the morning. Here it is the next morning, <laughs> cameo by my husband, and I'm getting ready for work. Um, it's about 5 a.m., so now I'm gonna show you my hair. Okay, so I just finished doing my makeup and, oh no. I'm sorry, that towel is not gonna be in this shot. Anyway, um, we are getting ready to go to work. So this is my first time taking my cap off. And as you can see, here is the leave out that I was talking about since this is the looser part of my hair. And now I'm going to take my scrunchie off right here. Oh, look how juicy these curls look. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna take the scrunchie off. Look, right there. And now we just shake. Look at that. Whoa. Oh yes, you guys, look at this wash and go. Now granted, um, whenever you do a pineapple, especially like, at least for me, I can say when I do a pineapple, it takes about uh, a day or two for my hair to look its fullest. So this is just day one. I haven't added any oil to my hair. I haven't added any like shine or anything. You literally just took me, show, ugh. you literally just saw me take my hair out of the bonnet from my pineapple, how I slept. But this is, these are the results right here, guys. I'm not mad at it. Yeah. And it doesn't even have an odor, a scent anymore. This carefree curl gold. Try saying that three times fast. And this Arbel Verde. I'm probably messing that name up, but it's in the Hispanic section at Walgreens. I think this is a bomb wash and go. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And I guess that'll be it. These are the results. Check them out. Everything was under, well, everything was $5 or less. So there you go. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, peace.